జయ శ్రీరామ్ నారద భక్తి సూత్రస్ ఎ సమరి రిమెంబర్ హ్యూమన్ బర్త్ ఈజ్ వెరీ రేర్ అండ్ అవర్ పురాణాస్ సే దట్ టు హ్యావ్ బీన్ బోర్న్ యాజ్ ఎ హ్యూమన్ యూ హ్యావ్ పాస్డ్ త్రూ ఎయిట్ మిలియన్ అండ్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ థౌజండ్ బర్త్స్ ఎయిటీ ఫోర్ ల్యాక్ బర్త్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ యూ గెట్ దిస్ వాల్యుబుల్ ఆపర్చునిటీ యాజ్ అ హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్ and if you are running after moon mia or some tombs or some meaningless cult uh, without studying and making an effort to understand the gita then the next life will be that of a pig hmm? be careful so narada bhakti sutras narada is not saying that you will be born as a pig but he is warning you all the same spend your time in inquiry for truth not gossip inquiry of the truth who are we uh, why are we here where are we going uh, wh- what is the meaning of existence so make an attempt study the gita it will give you the answers so narada bhakti sutras narada says that the ultimate reality is in the heart of this creation as well as ourselves and at the same time it is beyond all these and exists eternally externally in its infinite nature because we consider ourselves as the body uh, which uh, this idea this thinking uh, is avidya ignorance and we keep groaning under the revolving wheel of birth and death so vedanta <coughs> vedanta is the knowledge found in the vedas uh, there is a general feeling that vedanta means uh, the theory propounded by shankaracharya that is advaita non dual vedanta this is not correct because there are many teachers who came after shankara who were great intellectuals and great uh, rishis great seers ascetics and uh, great devotees <coughs> of krishna and they have uh, subjected the vedanta of adi shankara to incisive criticism and established their own vedanta traditions uh, the noteworthy among these are ramanujacharya madhvacharya Ramanuja is 1017 to 1137, Madhva is 1238, 1317, Nimbarka, 12th century, Vallabhacharya, 14th century, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, 1517 to 1582. In all these, the common premise on which they all start is Moksha can be gained through devotion to so these are all schools therefore they are called bhakti vedanta in the rigveda mantras the idea of bhakti is clearly explained 1 156.3 so one who surrenders completely to vishnu yeah, will be will be able to achieve moksha in the mundakopanishad the mantra is that the atman is not attainable through lectures nor through intellection that is deliberation thinking uh, cogitation nor by listening to lot of pravachans nayamatma pravachanena labhyo na medhaya na bahunashutena he whom he chooses to him alone is the self available that means the self reveals himself to such a worshipper so bhakti bhakti is the means images uh, of various gods are made with the same clay so that same that clay is krishna and he will appear he will manifest before his devotees in any form that they have adored him uh, refer the shloka 411 and 721 411 ye yadha maam prapadyante tam sthadhaiva bhajamyam మమ వర్తమాను వర్తంతే మనుష్య పార్థ సర్వశ సెవెన్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఏజ్ యో యో యాం యాం తను భక్త శ్రద్ధయార్చితుమిచ్చతి తస్ తస్యాచలాం శ్రద్ధాం తామేవ విదధామ్యహం ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఈజ్ ఎలిజిబుల్ ఫర్ ది పాత్ ఆఫ్ భక్తి ఎవ్రీ వన్ సో గుహ నంద చొక్కామేళ రవిదాస్ ఆర్ రాయిదాస్ తిరుప్పనాళ్వార్ కన్నప్ప all of them were dalits in fact valmiki vyasa is also a dalit 
and the worst uh, papis uh, ajamila ratnakara who became valmiki tondarada podi alwar so all of them are there and many illiterate uh, people were also there kabir nanak tukaram they had no bookish knowledge they were not scholars but yet they were realized souls krishna also says in the bhagavad gita 